Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Josh Strife Hayes. I am an English actor and a Twitch streamer. I'm here to try and help answer a question that I get asked a lot, and that is, what game should I stream? Normally, it's new streamers, people who haven't really been in the world too long, haven't really been in the world of streaming too long, asking me, well, what should I stream? What should I show? What will people watch? It's a complicated question with a relatively simple answer. So we're going to go through and I'm going to explain all the things we've got. Now, you can see on the screen I've got Twitch up here. I've got all the games right now. Fortnite is the number one game. We're sorting games by popularity. We're not going to work about app. I'm not going to talk too much about uh, IRL streams because uh, IRL streams are kind of a totally separate thing. It depends what you do in real life, what you're good at, what your hobbies are, what kind of portable equipment you've got with you. That'll be a separate video. For now we're going to talk about video games. What video game should you stream on Twitch? Well, how about the most popular one? People are watching it, there's a guaranteed audience, so let's go with the most popular one, which right now happens to be Fortnite, with over 151,000 viewers. Awesome! That means there's definitely going to be an audience for you. So let's have a look at Fortnite, see what we've got. Look at that, the number one has got 40,000 people watching. That's amazing, 40,000 people watching. Okay, well, the second one has got 15,000 people. I'm not saying that's a bad amount of people at all, that's still incredibly impressive. But it is less than half of the number one spot. So we've, uh, we've dropped down by 25,000 people straight away. That's, that's a hell of a lot of people to drop down from. And then we drop down again to 11,000, 7, and then 3. So the top four channels are amazing. And then 3,000, 2,000. We can even scroll down and be at 1,000 pretty quickly. I'm not saying having 1,000 viewers is a bad thing. That's still an absolutely insane amount of people watching you. But please understand that the the top, the world number one, is an outlier in the data. It's so insanely difficult to ever reach that. People look at that and think, oh, I'll be able to get somewhere near it. Even the second place is nowhere near it. Again, not saying second place is bad. I'm saying the second place is still 25,000 people short. I mean, to get 25,000 people, the second place would need the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh all to jump into their stream. So the top here is kind of an outlier in the data. It's not something we should be looking at too much. So let's scroll down and get into the middle kind of areas. This, this is the average Twitch streamer who's still phenomenally successful. Now we're looking at 400 viewers. We're looking at 280, 229. This is the mid-level where you're still going to be very, very popular, still going to be well-known. This is the level a lot of people want to try and get to. If you can get to here, you'd be happy. But if we scroll down even further, we start to get to where you're more likely to be. 50, 50, 43, 39, 36. This is still good, but it's nowhere near the 40,000 we started looking at. When we scroll down even more, we start to get to the truth of what you're going to see with these popular streams, which is less than 20 and eventually less than 10. If you stream the most popular game in the world, you can see I'm scrolling down more. If you stream the most popular game in the world, this is where you're going to be. You're going to be in, it's not the bottom of the barrel, because I'm not saying these streamers are bad. It is, however, an absolute cattle market of everyone trying to do the same thing. Because everyone has that mindset. They look at the most popular game in the world and think, oh, I'll stream that because there's definitely an audience for it. Unfortunately, the audience for it is mostly in the top five streamers. And if you're not in the top five, you're likely to be down here. If I keep going down, we're seeing a lot of people with six viewers, a lot of people with five viewers. This is where you're going to be. And how many videos have I scrolled past already? How many videos have I scrolled past? And how many have instantly grabbed my attention? Almost none. The screenshots are pretty much identical for all of them. There's nothing jumping out at me. I can't really see any 
any titles that make me intrigued. The nothing here is immediately jumping out at me. How many of these streams have five viewers? If you start to stream this kind of game, the most popular game in the world, even if it's not Fortnite, the, the thing remains the same. If you stream the most popular game in the world, you will be down here with these guys. I'm not saying these guys are bad, I'm not saying there's anything bad with that, but if you are trying to get noticed, if you are trying to get seen, please understand, you're going to be one face in a crowd of thousands. So there's going to be almost no reason someone would click on you. As harsh as it sounds to say, I'm still scrolling down. People with four views here, I'm still scrolling down. We could probably take the bottom, I'd say the bottom thousand Fortnite streamers, add them all together, and they still wouldn't make the top ten as far as viewer, you know, viewer numbers go. That's ridiculous. We scroll down even more and we start to get to four viewers, two viewers. If you stream the most popular game in the world, this is where you're going to be. Don't get drawn into that trap of streaming, oh, it's popular, therefore I'll find an audience. You won't, because everyone else has found the audience. So, let's go back. Let's discount, let's say no to the most popular game in the world. This, same for League of Legends, same for PUBG, same for Counter-Strike, even Far Cry 5. Let's have a look. Far Cry 5 has just come out. The top video has got 16,000, then we drop to 9, 7, 3, 3, 3, and then we're down to less than 1,000 when we're over here. We scroll down even more, and we're going to start to get to the 50s and the 60s. Again, a respectable view account, but there's no, there's no reason to click on any of these specifically. Nothing's jumping out at me. And because this is a popular game and everyone's trying to stream it now that it's new, if you try and stream the newest game, you're going to be down here in the lower parts. You're going to be down with five viewers, four viewers, if you're lucky. If you're bringing an audience that you've already established, yeah, they're going to come and watch you. But if you're trying to gain a new audience, if you've got no followers, no kind of, no pre-existing audience, and you stream one of these games, you're going to be down here, in the bottom. You are going to have no one and no reason to be clicked on. So let's discount that, go back to browsing. How about the exact opposite? How about we say, you know what, let's just have a look at what the, the least streamed game is. Let's scroll all the way down, because this sorts by number. Let's scroll all the way down until we've got a game with almost no viewers whatsoever, and we'll stream that, because then you can monopolize the market. Then there's going to be no streamers, you can completely monopolize whatever there is. So let's have a look down here. I'm going to keep scrolling down so the numbers drop even lower. Let's see what the... Keep scrolling so we're almost all the way down. Because no one's streaming these games, are they? No one's streaming these at all. Let's keep it going all the way down. All the way down. Until we get to less than 10 viewers. There's going to be no streamers there whatsoever. Okay, here we go. So, uh, Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. Let's click on that. Three streamers. Brilliant. Only three people. We can, we can be in there. We can start monopolizing it. Yeah, there's 10 viewers. Even if you are the most popular Devil May Cry 4 streamer, you're going to be getting four or five people watching. I'm not saying that's bad, and I'm not in any way having a go at the person streaming this game. I'm sure they're great. But if you stream an unpopular game, you've got the opposite problem. Yeah, you're going to be able to monopolize the market. People are going to be able to see you, but there's no people there to see you. So we can't look at these games up here, and we also can't look at the games with no one. Which leaves us in a kind of middle ground. A kind of middle grey ground. So let's have a look at these. Let's take any game with just under a thousand viewers, or around a thousand, dropping down to around a hundred. To me that seems fair. We'll start from around here. Clash Royale, Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 is a favourite game of mine. That's a great place to start. So Dark Souls 3, we're looking at just over a thousand. And then we'll scroll down, we'll see what we've got till we get to around a hundred views. 100 views, what are we looking at? Ooh, Final Fantasy VII's in there, Resident Evil 2, uh, the Tomb Raider games, and then Cuphead. What a lovely place to finish, Cuphead. 
So from Dark Souls 3 to Cuphead, two phenomenally difficult, incredibly rewarding games. Everything between Dark Souls 3 and Cuphead, this is where you should be looking. This is the kind of fair game. Games in between here, they're going to have enough viewers to be you know, watched and to be relevant, but they're not going to have enough streamers to completely saturate the market. Now I've done no research on this, I'm just going off the, the experience I've got. Let's give it a go. Borderlands 2, let's click there. Okay, so how many Borderlands 2 streamers we got? You've got quite a few. This is another problem you're going to find. Games in the middle, games that are just popular enough, will probably be completely monopolized by one person. This guy up here has got 139 viewers. Second place has got 41, and third place, 7. We scroll down, and at the bottom we see several guys with 0. And then a few with 1, 1, 1, 2. You could add every single stream together that's not the top stream and still not get as many views as this guy has. If you stream a middle game, you're going to be at the bottom. You've then just got to rely on being good and being found and being discovered and being entertaining before people stick around and watch. This is the issue that we're in. So we then, let's have a look at some more. Ooh, we need to find a game that's got almost no streamers but a large viewer base. Uh, how about Age of Empires 2? That's a classic game. You could stream Age of Empires 2. Well, the number one person has 288, and down here we've got 000111. Not many streamers. That's good. That's going to be able to you know, help you get found. But uh, again, the top guy is monopolizing it still. You know, the point of this video, guys, is to show you the pointlessness of doing this. Take it in a different way. Let's imagine, let's imagine that you're not thinking about streaming, but you're thinking about your life. You're thinking about the job you want to do for the rest of your life. What job do you want to have? I want to be an actor. I'm lucky enough to make some money acting. I'm lucky enough to make some money on Twitch. I've worked very hard and I've got there. But if I was just thinking, hmm, what job, is, what job should I do? If I say to someone, what job should I do? Well, statistically, probably something to do with oil. As far as one of the fastest growing occupations go, something to do with solar energy, renewable energy. Lawyers, they're always necessary. Sanitation workers are always needed. Plumbers, electricians, they make quite a lot of money. Uh, anything to do with industry, planes, public transportation. One of the largest employing kind of sectors is the commercial transportation industry. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should stop being an actor and go and be a truck driver. Maybe I should stop trying to follow this crazy dream of acting and go and do something stable. Nine to five office job, be a data entry clerk. It's more stable, it's more guaranteed, it would get me a bigger income. But I don't do that because I don't want to. Look at these games. Look at them. Someone is streaming Ocarina of Time. 2,325 viewers. Clint Stevens. I've never watched this guy. I probably will later on. Second place. Champy, 42. Someone down here with zero. You know what, this guy? I've never watched him, but I can guarantee this guy is bringing something, uh, something interesting. Also, why are you streaming Super Mario 64 Ocarina of Time? <laughs> that guy is going to bring something new. Bring something interesting. And that's going to be passion, love, care, interest. Don't ask, what should I stream? Instead, ask yourself, what do you love? What do you enjoy? What can you stomach playing for long periods of time? Then stream that. I mean, for example, let's go to my following tab, games. I stream Dark Souls 3 and Neverwinter quite a lot. There's 103 viewers on Neverwinter right now. Stuck on that. Uh, number one, 80 people are watching FN Husa. I happen to know FN Husa. He's a lovely guy. He's also a great streamer. He's very entertaining. I love his content. We go down here. I know quite a few of these people. And when I stream Neverwinter, I get a constant viewership. I'm not saying Neverwinter's the best game in the world. I'm not saying it's fantastic. But I like it. So I stream it. What should you stream? Whatever the hell you like. Look, retro gaming. Retro Gaming, this guy's here streaming old school Final Fantasy. 138 people are watching Final Fantasy. 
and they're probably watching it because they've got memories of it, they love it, they enjoy it, and this guy's bringing some passion, this guy's... Br Look, Earthbound, first ever playthrough. Earthbound's a classic RPG, a classic, classic game, and to watch someone play it for the first time is going to be great. He'll then move on and do something else. What game should you stream? The answer is whatever the hell you want. Because if you stream the most popular ones, you'll never get found. If you stream the least popular ones, there's no one there to watch. You stream something in the middle, all the games are already monopolised by one good person streaming it. So stop worrying. Stream what you like. Advertise it on Reddit, on Facebook, in the community, on forums of the game that you play. Please stop saying what should I stream? Because it's the same thing as saying, what job should I have? The only person that can answer it is you. What job can you see yourself doing for the rest of your life? If you can see yourself playing RuneScape, Black Desert Online, being in a talk show, Lineage 2, Legend of Zelda, if you can see yourself doing that for the rest of your life, for a couple of weeks, do it. If you can't see yourself doing it, don't do it. Because what would happen? Imagine what would happen. If you said to me, what game should I stream, and I gave you a really, really good reason to stream Magic the Gathering. Now, I happen to be a huge Magic the Gathering fan. So as soon as I have access to Arena, I definitely will. But if I said to you, you should stream Magic the Gathering, and you hated Magic the Gathering, what are you going to say to me? Are you going to say, hmm, yes, that's a good point, that's a good idea. I mean, I hate this game, and I don't like it, and I don't enjoy it but I will definitely learn all the ins and outs of playing it and play it to a professional level. You wouldn't say that. You'd say, eh, I don't like Magic the Gathering, and in that is the clue. You would say to me, you don't like that. So what do you like? Stream that. Find what you like, stream that. Forget the audience. You do it well enough, they'll be there. Let's find, let's find a game that you think no one's gonna watch. Okay, so I can't really imagine Heroes 3, the shadow of death. Heroes of Might and Magic 3 being too popular. Let's have a look into that. Okay, Heroes of Might and Magic 3. This is a classic game. There are 414 people watching it. 156 watching the second main play. Down here, yeah, you've got the zeros, but there's an audience. It's there. It exists. Scroll down even further, find a game that we think no one's going to watch. I'm going to just look around until I see a game that I don't recognise. Okay, Slaves to Armok to Dwarf Fortress. Guess what? There's people streaming Dwarf Fortress, okay? There's 347 people watching it, the first one. The other two streams have got six and one. Who would have said, oh, stream Dwarf Fortress, you'll get over 300 views? No one would have guessed that, but I... I guess that channel's found its uh, found its niche and loves it. If you want to stream Counter-Strike, stream Counter-Strike. If you want to stream a way out, stream a way out. Stream whatever the hell you want. Stream what you love, stream what you like, stream what you are knowledgeable about or what you can talk about or what you can be entertaining while doing. Stop asking people what should you stream because you wouldn't ask them what should I do with my life? What should I do as a job? What should I have for dinner? You choose. It's your choice. Find something you love and do it. Do it as well as you can. You should stream what you love. Thank you for watching. You have a great day. Find something you love, stream it. And if you love a game and if no one's watching it, you know what? Send me a message. Send me a message. I'll find some time. I'll come and watch you. If you love something, I would love to watch you stream it. I adore watching people share what they're passionate about. Share what they love. I love Neverwinter. People come and watch that. I, the love is obvious. The passion is obvious. The, the desire and the, you know, the liking for that game is there. It's so obvious. And that has been what's helped me keep the audience. If you love something and if there's no one watching you, tell me. I'll come and watch you. I guarantee it. I'll find some time. Stream what you love. Share it. Build it. And they will come, as they say. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Take care.